Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, engineering physics students of all ages, to our crash course on the physics of music. Sound is a pressure wave in the air. It has crests, which are high pressure. It has troughs, which are low pressure. It moves through the air at a speed of about 340 meters per second, depending on air conditions, depending on the temperature and the humidity. It can go as low as 333 or 334, or as high as 345. The difference between sound and noise is mathematical pattern. Both of them have a certain amplitude, loud or soft, a certain frequency, aka pitch, which can be high or which can be low, and they both have a discernible pattern, which musicians call timbre. Both go from high pressure to low pressure to high pressure to low pressure, but noise does so in a random way. Music has an inherent mathematical pattern. It repeats. That's why you're told that it's good practice to listen to classical music before you take a math test. It's exercising the part of your brain that goes with mathematical pattern. The mathematical patterns in Western harmony are there because your brain likes integers. One, two, three, you know what's coming next. Four, three, four, you know what's coming next. Five, two sounds in a ratio of two to one make an octave. La, la. Two sounds in a ratio of three to two make a fifth. La, 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 la. Two sounds in a ratio of four to three make a four. La, 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 la. Six, five, four is a major chord. Fifteen, twelve, ten is a minor chord, which why, is why it makes your brain a little sad because it has to work a little harder to figure out the pattern. All of those ratios are based on the concert A of 440 hertz to which the Western Orchestra tunes. Now, what are these musical notes? They're frequencies. The frequency at which the red ball is bouncing up and down. How many waves you have per second. High pressure, low pressure. Frequency is not speed. The speed that sound travels at is the speed of sound. You'll notice the black waves are traveling across the screen all at the same speed. But frequency is how many waves per second comes through. And that's what the pitch or musical note really means. A high pitch is a high note. A low pitch is a low note. And everything in between. Frequency is measured in hertz. Hertz are the number of waves per second. 1 hertz is 1 wave per second. 440 hertz, concert A, means that the note is vibrating across the string of the violin or in the throat of the singer who's singing it 440 times every second. 256.6 hertz, or middle C, isn't vibrating as fast. That's only 256.6 vibrations per second. The range of human hearing goes as low as 20 hertz, or 20 times per second, and as high as 20,000 hertz. Although in people of our generations who've totally shot out our hearing through listening to everything on earbuds at volumes that are much too high, if you have to try to be heard over the music, over the speakers, or over the noise, it's damaging your hearing. I top out at 16,000 hertz because I'm older. I wouldn't be surprised if most of you guys couldn't make it as high as 15,000 if you listen to too much loud music on your earbuds or attend too many loud concerts or loud symphonies. In any rate, we're going to be programming the frequency ranges in Western music. And in Western, the sub bass woofers are still in the low hundreds. And the super tweeters, the highest of the high, are still in the low thousands. We're not going to be making music anywhere down near 20, which is a low rumble, which makes people uncomfortable when they go to the Omnimax Theater, or way up in the 14 or 15 thousands, which is so high that some people can scarcely hear it anymore. Electronic music is the art of making wave patterns that correspond to the same wave patterns made by the music. Check it out. Here in 2020, we can use a virtual oscilloscope that will show us the patterns made by our voices and by our music. 
check it out. You can see the amplitude get big, the waves get very tall as it gets louder and louder and louder. And you can see the waves get very small when it's quieter and quieter. You can see the frequency measured how many wave crests fit on this graph in one second, or in this case, one millisecond. You can see the patterns made by my voice, and you can see how when you're talking, the patterns made by your voices are different. That's how you can tell who's talking on Zoom, even if they're not actually in the room with you. You can still recognize their voices. Digital music on CD, DVD, MP3, MP4 is a list of frequencies, a numerical list, played at a certain rhythm. Your most basic program simply plays one note every time there is delay, in your case, a delay of 500 milliseconds. Um, better timing can work in microseconds and can work in complicated patterns, not just sound waves. The volume of the sound is the amplitude of the vibration of the size of the wave. A dinky little Arduino buzzer plays sounds at precisely one volume. It takes its five volts and goes for broke. If you want real nice music, you're going to need a proper speaker that can shake at high and low volumes. It can shake for loud and it can shake for soft. A real speaker can do tone color, whereas the Arduino buzzer makes a sine wave just like this one at whatever frequency you tell the program. So what's the deal with a speaker? What is a speaker? A speaker is a device that transforms electrical impulses into sound by shaking the cup faster than you can shake it. How can it do that? Magnet speaker has a magnet whose magnetic field is pointing in a certain direction um, and sends current through a coil of wire from your music player at a certain frequency. You'll notice alternating current already has a frequency. In the US, the frequency that comes out of your wall is 60 hertz, but that's only going to make a noise at 60 hertz. You want something more in the hundreds and thousands that goes with your music. If the current is going this way, um, the uh, coil will be attracted and moved down. If the current is going the other way, the coil will be repelled and moved up. Your current can alternate faster than you can shake with your hand. It can alternate many, many hundreds of times per second. So all you need to do is attach the coil to your speaker cup, or sometimes it's called a speaker cone. You can see it's tapered for better sound reproduction, and you will have your speaker. The difference between a speaker we could make here in the physics lab out of a plastic drinking cup and the professional ones who pay a lot of money um, is the dimensions and the design of this plastic cup or cross-section of a cone that allow it to resonate with different frequencies and have high quality sound reproduction um, when the natural frequency of your speaker cup matches the frequency at which your music happens to be playing. So that's how the speaker sends these sound waves into the air from your music player. The frequency that the current changes is the frequency at which the coil of wire attracts and remelts the magnet, dragging the cup back and forth. So the frequency of this shaking, the frequency at hundreds of times per second, is the frequency of the sound wave that's made, and it's the pitch of the musical note that's played. Note that in your Arduino program, you're allowed not only to modify the hertz, but modify in the hundreds of millihertz. The numbers you put in your definition are hertz times 10. Now, in this day and age, it is very, very easy to find the frequencies of the major scale, the equal-tempered scale, as it's been called in Western music since the Baroque period. We're tuning to 440 hertz. Look in your program, see which note your program tunes to. If you want your buzzer or beeper to be in tune, tune it to 440. We're assuming the highest possible speed of sound. Here are your frequencies. Now, to compose your own ringtone, you can go to your piano, your harmonica, or your recorder. You can pick out a few notes, write down which notes those are in a list, and write down which frequencies you need to play. Go to it.